Listen, I, I am not big on going back to school. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great. You know, chances are, if I could do it over, I probably would not have even gone to med school. I think um, one of the things I tell my sons, and they're 11 and 9, is that, you know, the other word for graduation is commencement. And in French, which is commence, which means the beginning. True learning mm-hmm. starts after you graduate with high school, college, or graduate school. Um, and you need to make sure that you're learning something new on a regular basis. And so for me, the way that I go about my day, my best days always start off with meditation and or prayer in the morning, uh, followed by doing some kind of affirmations. Usually when I am, I have just sort of finished uh, washing my face, brushing my teeth, I've got a set of affirmations I say looking at myself in the mirror. When I take a shower, I spend the entire shower doing a completely different set of affirmations. I have gotten into the habit now, every time I wash my hands, it's usually a mirror. Um, I'm giving myself affirmations during that period of time as well. Um, And that really protects my brain against all the negativity in the world. Um, I spend time reading every single day and not necessarily things that are medical, things that are sort of outside of that medical scope. So that way I can gain perspectives from other people. Um, I listen to podcasts on a regular basis. I surround myself with different people, right? So they're not all doctors and nurses and healthcare professionals. I surround myself with business people, authors, different entrepreneurs, because their perspectives are so invaluable um, to my life. I exercise four to five times per week. So, and you know, certainly I do that for my body and for my physical health, but I also do it for my mental health and to allow my brain to operate at its maximum uh, capabilities. And so those are the things that I do every single day to to keep myself healthy, but also to keep myself moving forward. And when you talk about meditation, um, how many minutes would you say you normally spend in meditation or prayer per day? So I spend 15 minutes a day meditating. And studies have shown that if you spend 15 to 20 minutes Um, on a regular basis meditating, we can actually start seeing really positive structural changes in your brain. And when it comes to your affirmations, are those phrases that you rotate based on what you're looking to achieve at a certain period of time? Or is it about your health? Could you give us any insight? Yeah, so it's it's all of those, right? So the ones that I say to myself uh, in the morning, I start out with, I am amazing. I am happy. I am healthy. I am fit. I am rich, I am wealthy, I am impactful, I am loved, I love me, and God loves me. In the mm-hmm. shower, it's about every day in every way, I am better and better. And I will say that 20 times, followed by every day in every way, I am healthier and healthier 20 times. Followed by every day in every way, I am richer and richer uh, 20 times. I have recorded myself saying affirmations for nine minutes. So if I'm in a car uh, driving, I may be playing that. So that's what's going into my my mind. So I'm very mindful throughout the day of what I am putting into my brain to counteract all the negativity, all the noise from the outside world. 